I would always tell myself that I would think of self-improvement just like a video game. You know, you level up, you get experience, and you actually start to progress. Until you reach this maximum level of where you are basically the boss. You, you can destroy every single other person and nothing can stand in your way. And although this analogy really served me well, like thinking of self-improvement just like a video game, it's not really correct at all. Because there's no end to self-improvement. There is no finish line. As I started to progress, I started to obsess all about my goals. I started to overindulge in Andrew Huberman's podcasts. I started to read books at 1am in the morning. I started to exercise, do random sets of push-ups in my bedroom at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And you know when you were addicted to video games and all you could think about was, I don't know, that game you always used to play in school, on the toilet, when you wake up, when you go to bed. It's always on your mind. This was like self-improvement for me. It would never leave my mind. I stopped speaking to my family. I stopped socialising. I stopped going outside. It was just me and my book collection and my computer where I would just work all day on. And you know, I made a ton of progress. I made a ton of progress in my business, in, you know, like the gym and all this stuff, right? But I lost my identity in the process. This is what most people don't talk about on self-improvement. They all talk about all the progress you're going to make, like the physique that you want. They sell you the dream of, you know, getting all that business money or whatever you, your goals are, right? But I went from a joyful teenager who loved his life, he was on self-improvement, to someone who just works for 10 hours a day and doesn't socialize with anyone even including his parents because he locks his door and you probably guess this was not healthy especially when you're doing it for like an entire six months i made a video a couple of days ago talking about how bad self-improvement is becoming especially like the modern era of self-improvement and a question popped up in my mind recently saying is there such thing as too much self-improvement and I believe there is. You see, it's all nice to make progress. Everyone loves progress, I love progress. But when you're obsessing over your jawline perimeter or your eight pack, you know, Big Mac from McDonald's, it starts to really fall out of control. And if you're in the age range of 14 to 20, don't you just want to live your life as well? Don't you want to be on self-improvement and live your life at the same time? Obviously, I'm not saying to like be a degenerate, I'm not saying to like play video games for six hours a day, but I'm just saying, don't you want to go outside in nature? Don't you want to go on a bike ride with your friends and actually socialise with your parents? Because if there's one thing that I would tell myself six months ago, it's that I would just tone down the work a bit and focus on my relationships and actually socialising with people as well because these are things that you need to level up. Self-improvement is not just about monk mode, it's not just about you know, getting to 10k per month because there's multiple layers of self-improvement. There's multiple pillars that you need to level up constantly. It's just like a video game, like I said at the start. And you will look back at these years when you were a teenager, when you basically had no response when you were just really innocent and you will look back and wonder why you chose to overthink about the future instead of just enjoying the present moment you're in because i'll tell you this six months ago my mom was going crazy every single day i was overthinking about the future my business all these things that were basically minuscule problems and that really consumed my life it stopped me from enjoying my life and i hated living at that moment because my mind was just generating all these bad thoughts that didn't even matter at all. I wish I could just go back and spend more time with my family. And you know, they're not dead or anything, they're, they're completely fine, but I just wish I could spend more time with them because in 10 years from now, I will look back at this moment and say, why didn't I spend more time with my family more, right? Th that's probably the same for you. You wish you could spend more time with your family like one year ago, so why don't you? Because this is a part of self-improvement. Relationships are a big part of self-improvement and when you just block them all out and think that business is the only thing that you need to level up, you won't enjoy your life and in 10 years you will regret it. There are too many people who are just overstimulated by self-improvement now. You know, they, they, all, they all say they used to be overstimulated by like TikTok or YouTube stream scrolling or something like that. But really, everyone just turns to self-improvement and then they're just overstimulated again because they're just like obsessing over it. They keep, they keep on getting addicted to self-improvement content. They stop living their life. They stop socializing with their parents. And soon enough, they hate their life again. And obviously working for 10 hours a day is completely fine. I like to do this. I like to have some days where I make so much progress. I recall like three videos, I script five videos. I do two hours of studying. Those days are amazing. But when you just neglect everything else to do with self-improvement, like your reading, like, I don't know, working on your mental health or something like that, it starts to reflect on your work. And I really noticed this when I was doing copywriting, when I would just lock myself in my room for 10 hours a day, not socialize with anyone. I couldn't communicate my offer well to clients. I couldn't go on a sales call without like shaking like this because, you know, I don't speak to anyone. 
So if you just like, I don't know, prioritize business, right? You work for, I don't know, let's say five hours a day of deep work, that's very good. And then you, for the rest of that time, you, I don't know, spend time with your friends, you spend time with your family and you speak to them. That means you're gonna make more progress in your business because you're able to communicate well. You're able to speak, I don't know, effectively. Just don't make self-improvement the pinnacle of your life because you'll start to lose your identity. And like I said, being disciplined, being like really disciplined, like working all day monk mode is not bad. But you know, I went in monk mode for like entire six months and I made so much progress, it's actually insane. I would really recommend it, but but just know eventually you have to come out of this monk mode stage and you have to focus on other areas of your life, like relationships. Because when you are in this monk mode stage, you just lose your grip of reality. You forget everything that is happening in your life. Because if you just stay in this monk mode stage, it becomes like what video games did to your mind, right? when you just constantly thought about video games. You kept on thinking about the, the next weapon you could level up or something like that. You keep on thinking about this, it stops to consume your life, and soon enough, your mental health gets ruined because, you know, you're just overthinking about everything. And I know I'm going against a lot of what influencers say, you know, go in this monk mode stage for your entire life of 10 years and watch your life change. But the biggest learning lesson I've had on self-improvement is not to trust everything you see on the internet because what everyone says is basically just part of their life experience, right? Things that I say is part of my life experience. And the reason why this is bad is because my life experience could be totally different to yours. When you are basically this vacuum who just takes in lots of information, you take in all the good and also the bad, and that negatively impacts your life. The main message I just want to say in this video is if you're like 14 to 20 years old, don't like stay in a stage where you're locked in your room for 10 hours a day, you're not seeing your parents, you're not seeing anyone else, just so you can focus on work, just so you can focus on that tiny little progress on your business and of course I believe monk mode is good actually I know I made a video on this saying monk mode is bad but I've changed my belief actually it's good to have a stage when you're in monk mode for like six months but when you're in this for like two years ten years five years that's when all the other areas of your life start to decline and you're just left with this business that's doing really well but you're depressed because your body is in terrible shape you're depressed because you can't socialize with anyone because your social skills are garbage and also I want to say is just don't get too attached to self improvement and I know this video is kind of repeated to the other one I made like where modern self-improvement is bad But I just wanted to make this video again or in a similar format because this message needs to be spread even more There's too many people who are overstimulated by self-improvement now who used to be overstimulated by TikTok And I don't even realize it and when I realized this advice my life changed I stopped overthinking about the future and I started to live in the present moment, which is just amazing. Okay? So goodbye, have a nice day. Make sure you actually take this message well, okay? I'm gonna have to, again, I'm gonna have to move closer to the bloody camera because I'm sitting all the way over there. Okay, goodbye.